Mr. Littleton may have gone east, but his legacy of rationed clothing, like the beacon of Mr. Belisha, will always be a reminder. About to burst into a plaintive lay is that famous comedian of radio and stage, Jerry Verno. Now, the stockings. Now, what did I do with those stockings? Oh, I am get, really, girls, I'm getting so forgetful. Of course, how stupid of me. <laughs> I'm wearing them. Yes. My husband bought me those. Oh, what an eye for colour he'd got. Oh, what a man he was, girl. What a man. Ah, oh, what a man. What a man, girl. You know, he was an actor. You know, girls, one of those week-in, week-out fellows. I'm afraid he was more out than in. You know, he said if I married again, he'd scratch his way out of the earth and come and haunt me. So I had him buried face downwards. I bet he's well on his way to Australia by now. <laughs> I suppose that's why they call them diggers. Oh, of course. The poor little goldfish. They have been fed today. Poor little fellows, swimming about there. Hmm. Thank heavens they're not rational. King Song of England. Your England and mine, sung by that popular West of England baritone, you probably heard him on the air, John Stebbin. There was a happy island that rose from out the seas, kissed by the rain and sunshine, and swept by every Accompanied at the piano by Ivan Forsella.
the squeeze box merchants are Peter Kent and Ted Martin, who doubles on other instruments. Now, boys, I give you my impersonation of Benny Goodman playing Georgia. I tell, man, I tell, man. Yes, what do you want? Have you seen a man with a grey suit, brown shoes, red tie? No, I haven't seen the fellow. Tell me, I'm not the game. <laughs> now, boys, I give you my impersonation of Benny Goodman. I say, I say, yes, I tell, man. Just fancy. Want? Spade, chips, peas, large players, ninepence. Where can you get that? Go ahead, right. just fancy. Now, one of you boys like to come up and tickle the ivory for us? Sure. <laughs> they can nearly always find a bloke what docks the dominoes. And he's as pleased as punch to have a go. Well, it only goes to show. And and shining, phoenix-like on the ashes of war will emerge a nobler London. The theme of an appealing number by that favourite broadcasting baritone, Raymond Newell. London. Nothing can break her, none will forsake her while freedom stands. After the pain that fate had willed her, we shall rebuild her with a loving hands. London will rise again to greater glory to tell a story that cannot die. London will rise again, her faith unshaken, and reawaken, need the clearer sky. Night, like a shadow, will disappear, gone, like the brushing away of a bitter tear, while the trumpets of freedom ring there yet clear. London that will rise, change though she may be, yet I will always see my London when the daylight dies. Street lamps are glow and newsboys calling. City I know with twilight falling Deep in my heart I keep recalling The London I love When I was going up to the theatre There was a girl standing outside the stage door Quite a pretty girl And she came up to me She said, pardon me, but um, Are you Mr. Stinkinelli? I said, I do I mean, I am, I am, yes. She said, would you uh, give me your autograph, please? So I said, uh, certainly, so I made them off. So then she said, uh, now will you give me a kiss? So I said, whatever for? She said, well, if you kiss me, I'll tell the girls at the office, and it'll be a feather in my cap. I said, come into my dressing room, I'll make you into an Indian. Heads up and hands down. And here comes another tidbit. And now let's have a look at the score. One of the teams is romping home. With the last chalk, the two captains take turns to do their real stuff. You see, there's no deception. A shake or two and a few tops and bottoms, and there you are. Good for you, Bomber. Beware, Mr. Stranger, of moonlight in Mexico. <laughs> 